Hello, my friends, and welcome to, to Video Break. And we're in Psalm 35, verse 2, where it says, Take up shield and armor. Arise and come to my aid. I think it's really cool the picture that David has of God as being a warrior. Take up my shield and come to my aid. But I also find it amazing that David's relationship with God was one that he was asking God to participate like a warrior. And I'm wondering if we ever view God or we ever see God in that kind of perspective that he fights for us. He wants our battles. I think that's the key too, that he wants our battles. Often we want to fight them on our own or we want to take them on in our own strength and we want, you know, and God's like, wait, 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 wait. Let me have your battle. Let me fight and let me fight with the weapons. And one of the greatest weapons that you and I have is the power of prayer. And this, you know, Psalm 35 verses one through four, David is just giving this warrior call. It's almost like he's, I don't know where he's at in this particular situation. Maybe he's in the midst of a cave, maybe he's standing on top of a mountain. I don't know, maybe he's out in the middle of a desert, but he has this warrior call. Can you just vision it? Lord, bring your weapons and fight for me. And you know, maybe that's what some of us need to call out today. Maybe we're in the midst of battles. It seems like we're either going into one in one or coming out of one, wherever you're at, God wants to be your warrior. God wants to fight for you. And one of the, like I said just a second ago, one of the greatest weapons we have is to call out, to be in this conversation with God to fight for us. You know, instead of sitting and dwelling, and sometimes we can get in these self pity little modes where, you know, all we're focusing on is ourselves. God wants to say, I want to rescue, but you're not calling. I want to help but you're not asking. You know, he wants to step in in his way that he knows how to step and maybe he's just sitting there knocking and maybe this video is even showing you that he's sitting there knocking saying, let me in, talk to me, pray, have conversation with me, trust me, have hope in me, you know, but yet we just keep resisting that voice and keep listening to the voice of all what the enemy wants to say to us and it's become so loud that we're believing it. Today as a breakthrough. Open the door, allow God to have that fellowship with you through prayer. Break, allow God to break down what the enemy's trying to build up.